Big Run Production. What's poppin', what's poppin', and what's poppin' again? This should be on me, MC Ron Ski, the OG, aka Big Run 357. And y'all already know why I'm here, right? Y'all already know I'm about to go in, man. I got to. Dude, first off, salute to my boy Great Britain, man. That was a that was a lit battle, okay? Um, for those that didn't show up and missed it, you really missed out because you missed the classic. But I'm finna just do a little recap of that night. I was gonna do it that night, but I was still in Chopper City when I got here. So, with that being said, let me get myself together. See, that's how you know it's crispy when it pop like that. I'm already pulled up. <clears throat> okay, I'm just gonna jump right into it, man. First battle, right? <laughs> You know what, before I even say anything, man, salute to all the brothers that came here from, from other cities, man, from Indiana, from Jersey, you know what I'm saying, wherever you came from, brother, I appreciate y'all coming here, man, you know what I'm saying, we talking works, WMG, Joker of the Funeral God, and oh yeah, of course, Mr. Mills, yes sir, THC. So, check this out, man, this is what's happening. The first battle, THC and CHE. G-A-R-B-A-G-E In real life, man, love T-A-C, I didn't even know what you was talking about you Couldn't hear what you were saying You seemed like you was timid Like you never ever been in front of a camera in your life um, It seemed like this was your very first battle So I'm not really I don't really understand what was going on with that I'm not going to spend too much time on that Because honestly, it don't deserve a whole lot of time Um <sighs> Rico, come on, man, for real. I mean, you said you wasn't gonna choke. You, you, I mean, a choke is a loss to me. I'm just gonna keep it all the way 100. And, and for you not to do the third round, that was just a bit much. So, I mean, just to recap, you know what I'm saying? That was just one of these type of one of these type of battles. Oh yeah, and then this happened. Magnums, not rubbers. You have one time to disrespect me. See. This is that's the reason why I do not do battle rap because I ain't that understanding. Um, in any event, we done with that. Um, second battle, the warrants versus works. Um, the warrants, a duck ain't a good look for you. Ain't nobody tell me why you didn't show up yet. So I mean, I ain't even ask either. So I. It, Bottom line is, man, you were supposed to be there and you wasn't there and a the man came from out of town all the way from, I do believe, Jersey to battle you and you ducked. But you know what, duck? don't even sweat it, man, because um, your replacement definitely done his thing, okay? So I think that he did better than you would have done. Um, I'm not taking nothing from you, but I seen your last battle and you do too much pausing for me, brother. So with that being said, off of off of the warrants, on to the the young guy who actually um, who took over for you, and I still don't have his name like Larry Larry Bull or something like that. Some you said I don't know, but you you battle works. You did a great job, man, for that to be your first battle, man. You cooked. Um, you would definitely be in the highlight reel for sure. The third battle, we talking Dub M G and Mr N B A. That was hot. I liked it that. Uh, both you dudes got off, you know what I'm saying? Y'all was a little bit rough at the beginning, a little rough around the edges, but y'all y'all pulled it together. Um, Dub MG, you cook, brother. Um, but I mean, honestly, yo, you you lost your you lost your aggression, and that's my that's my biggest thing, man. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for aggression. I don't really care if I can't get if I if I can't see aggression, man. I'm not really paying attention to what you're saying. I mean, I don't. And I'm not saying that you wasn't you wasn't cooking because you was, but you know when you lost your aggression, you kind of lost me. So, Mr. NBA, you did your thing, man. So, once once again, you know, you brought it home. You 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 did what you supposed to have did. Um, Mr. NBA won that. I'm just keeping it all the way 100. But and I I'm not saying that because I'm here from Milwaukee. Check this out. Uh, you know, this here is an unbiased platform that we on right now. Um, and I'm just keeping it all the way 100, man, you know, I mean, and oh yeah, the battle with works and the, the, the youngin uh, from, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I don't, I was, try, I was looking at the footage, I couldn't really catch your name, you was talking very low, 
Um, I don't know your name, but you did a good job. But that, I, I, I scored that even. So, off to the next one. The next battle was Joker, the funeral god, and yours truly, the man, Chris Killer. So, Chris Kane, you handled your business, man, as usual. Funeral God, it's like both of y'all, both of y'all did what y'all supposed to have did in y'all area. You know what I'm saying? Funeral God, you had those antics. I really like the way you be, you be taking care of your business, man. I mean, I, I like your licks. I like the way you, you know, I like the way you perform. I like the way you present yourself. And I mean, but the third, and I understand it was hot up in there, so you had to, you know, come up out the wig. But that, that, that kind of lost me right there because. If you're gonna come up out the wig, then you know, just go ahead and just come up out of everything. You know what I'm saying? Go put on some jeans and a t shirt, take off the makeup, and then go and finish the battle. So you kind of lost me with that. But you know, you cook though, you know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna give it that, I'm giving that to, to Chris Kane again. So that another one, you know, and, and trust me, once again, I was listening. I'm listening to, to both ends, both sides. Y'all, y'all took, y'all, both of y'all took care of y'all business. But, you know, it was just, and this is just me. I'm not, I'm not the judge. This is no chill, no filter TV. This is nothing else. Just no chill, no filter TV. This your boy, MC, your big homie, MC Ron Ski talking. So, I ain't saying, man, that, you know, you whack or nothing like that, brother. You know, it was just, you know, you lost me when you, when you lost the wig. And I ain't saying that you didn't cook that round. I'm not saying that's the reason why I, I scored it for Chris Kane. I gave it a 2-1, okay? BMB. Mike to the G, Scotty Lyrical. <laughs> you know when y'all stood up, when y'all was like outside talking. Prediction. I feel like it could be a three zero. Let's let's just fast forward to the battle, okay? When you guys were standing face to face, and I actually heard both first rounds. Um, of course, first round I I gave that to BMB. Because put, if he'd have put uh, Scotty Lyrical in a choco, Scotty Lyrical wouldn't have been able to get out of it. That's just how I'm looking at it. You know what I'm saying? You know, beef up a little bit, dog. I mean, and then if you're not gonna, if you're not gonna present yourself in that way, man, at least when you spitting, let me get that. You know what I'm saying? So one zip for the first round. Second round, I'm seeing like DMX pipe with a knife work. You can get it both ways, like vice versa. <laughs> Versus uh, Will Smith or somebody. Like when I cook, most niggas be complaining and hating and get to giving me upside down thumb signs. So in future reference, if you don't like the way I cook, it's either you battle me or get the fuck out my lunch line. Okay. okay. You know what I'm talking about, Scotty? Come on, man, stop playing, dude. Don't, don't. If you gonna continue, if you gonna, if you gonna, man, you gotta finish the way you start. If you gonna, if you gonna start strong, finish strong. Don't think that just because you know you may have done something in the first in the first uh, round that, you know, you can go ahead and start slacking. So, second round, I gave to BMB. Um, third round, you definitely lost me with the side barn and all that old type of stuff. Honestly, bro, that was whack, man. That, that, was, that was just 100% one of those where I'm like, man, I was about to, I was about to really, really do you like I wanted to do, like I wanted to do the first battle, and that's, you know, just let them, you know, perform for the lights and cut the cameras off. You know what I'm talking about? Um, be careful when you're doing that, man. That's all I'm saying. That's my advice to you. Be careful when you're doing that. Don't, don't go to, oh yeah, man, this is what I'm gonna do. Because if some people can do that, you cannot. If you if you are gonna do that, man, make sure that the content is worth it. Okay? The stuff you were saying was just no. Okay? I, I didn't get it. I didn't didn't get it. Didn't nobody else get it. Didn't nobody care. And then all with the you and now all of a sudden you and uh, uh, what's your who's it's uh, Che about the fight because he got well I don't even say he got cooked he just didn't do nothing um, but you know now you wanna you know do all this old side barn man you lost me with that I got of course I gave that three zero like like BMB pre predicted Mike G he predicted that that was a three zero next battle Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam, I, I, I looked at the battle, YMH, uh, Stana, uh, he cooked you, bruh, he cooked you. Um, I don't, uh, you know, once again, I'm, I'm, I'm just giving y'all my no-chill, no-filter opinion, man. 
um, Uncle Sam, you could have did a whole lot better, man. You could have came a whole lot better. If you going if you gonna do something, if you gonna do something, man, make sure, make sure that you you keep everybody's attention, man. And you just showed everybody that you was visibly, that you was visibly, you know. Okay, Larry Bull, that's who that was. Okay, I got that. Sorry, y'all. I had to, I had to look at what I was doing here. So, anyway, yeah, Uncle Sam, yeah, man, you got cooked, brother. Um, I gave that, I gave that in its entirety to uh, to Wine May Stunner. He handled his business on you. Um, so, now, here we go. Mr. Mills in Great Britain. God, man, looky here. You know what? First off, check this out. All it takes is a few dollars to send my soldiers. That's how you wage war. My knights move in silence. That's what the K for. I see holes on and, and you know what? Hold on for a second. Yeah, I had to do that. So, and this happened. Keep it real. Don't direct disrespect to me because I made it safe for you to come in this grimy bitch tonight. Vasectomy. Okay, so now y'all gonna just have to wait for the battle. But for real, for real, that was a classic battle. Battle. Mr. Mills took care of his business. And, and honestly, once again, man, I, I can't. I, I'm not. I'm not. A, I'm not a judge. So I'm just. I'm. 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 I'm talking to y'all as a fan. Both of them dudes got off. When I say both of them dudes got off, I was not disappointed in neither one of them guys. Mr. Mills came in and took care of his business. Great Britain got up there and did way better than I thought he was gonna do. And I'm trust me. I ain't. I, hey, brother. You already know, OG. You know this your OG homie. This, this your big homie talking. You know what I'm saying? I gotta be a hundred percent with you. I did not know that 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 you was coming, you know, that prepared. Cause you was definitely you took care of your business, bro. You took care of your business and, and I'm very proud of you, man. I'm proud of all you dudes, for real, for real, man. But um just another sidebar right thick right fast. Rico, C A G. Go back to the drawing board, brother. Do do some do some soul searching. Get yourself together, man, and, you know, put your aggression in your raps, man, not in your body. That's the worst place for it, because you're going to lose everybody then, you know what I'm saying? So, don't all that old man getting into it with people and all that old type of stuff, don't do it. Um, no chill, no filter TV, man. This was my, my, my post recap of the Say Mercy Battle event, man. It was off the hook. Um... Yeah, everybody, everybody, you know, I, I give props to everybody that came and took care of their business. The warrants, a duck ain't a good look for you right now, man, because you, you're still trying to get there. So, in any event, man, <laughs> remember that, okay? Your next battle, you better be there, and you better have your boots laced all the way up. And you better come out with a win, for real. Because a duck ain't good. A duck ain't a good look, especially with somebody from out of town. So... With that being said, this here has been a post recap of uh, the Say Mercy Battle event. This here has been No Chill, No Filter TV with your big homie, MC Ron Ski, the OG, a.k.a. Big Ron 357. Um, and you already know how I feel about feelings around here, you know what I'm talking about. So, until next time, stay upset. Peace.